This is not a typical video for me because I usually don't like doing technical videos, but this is pretty cute and I think it's going to be helpful for me, so I thought this might be helpful for you. A couple of days ago, a guy called Chow, a Brazilian guy, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, approached me on Twitter and showed me that they're working on a new sketch plugin that's called Magic Button. And the truth is, buttons are really frustrating me in Sketch, and I'm going to show you why and how this new plugin solves this, which I think is going to make my process more efficient, and more than that, it's going to be more pixel perfect, I would say. So let me show you what my process is. So usually we, I create a button and it, this is a symbol so I can change the text here. But now what happens is if my new text is gonna be longer, like try this for free, then what's gonna happen, this text is gonna break now and I'm gonna have to manually resize it. But I have no clue how to get to the padding that I specifically set here. So let's say I want a 50 pixels padding on all sides, so now, I really have to drag and start calculating or break this to get uh, to the exact padding that I want. And this is very frustrating. So their solution was creating a special type of symbol, which you can just click, I think it's shift, uh, command shift M, right? And then you can change the text of this button. So let's say, try this for free. And this has been automatically resized, says magic just happened resized element and they know how to do this because when they created let me show you the when they created the buttons they have a special symbol so this button is actually comprised of the background and a padding that you set here so you can say how long or how big you want the padding to be and then this will automatically resize the button to stay with fixed padding. And they've created this all types of buttons, for example, buttons with icons, buttons with you know all the types of icons that you need. So you get this template, and then you just copy their symbols, and then you start using them. So what I did here is in order for you to not actually see the padding, but the padding is actually here, so I gave it the same color, right? So this is actually the padding. I can change the color here just so that you will be able to see it. So this is the padding. But if you make it the same color, it gives you the feeling that this is one button. Super technical, but it solves a really annoying problem of creating buttons in Sketch. By the way, the process that I just showed you yesterday of wireframing in Webflow actually solves this because in Webflow, the element is an HTML object so when, with fixed padding on all sides. So when you ch type in, it's being automatically resized just because it's a real button and not just a mockup. So that's that. I'll link to the plugin below. It's free. You can download it and hope you find it helpful. Have a super day. I'll catch you tomorrow. I'm out of